fundraising round. And let me just start by simply asking, you know, $1.15 is a lot. What are you guys going to do with that money? Thank you so much for having us today, David. Uh, we're excited to be on with you. So before I tell you about the, the fundraise, I just want to tell you a little bit about GoPuff for the audience. GoPuff is a ver vertically integrated technology platform in which we service over 600 U.S. cities and we operate over 300 micro fulfillment centers, delivering anything from ice cream, you know, alcohol, over-the-counter medication, baby products, and much more, all in 20 minutes, available 24-7 across the U.S. Uh, the benefit of the vertically integrated model is one, you know, superior unit economics, given we make our margins off our product sales. And two, we're able to control the entire customer experience and deliver very quickly to consumers. You know, as it relates to the fundraise, you know, we're really fortunate to bring on world-class investors such as, you know, Fidelity, D1, Valley Gifford. And what I'll tell you a little bit about, you know, myself and Raf is, you know, we started this business from scratch, bootstrapped the business. Our seed round was selling, you know, office furniture on Craigslist. And so for us, it was, you know, let's nail the business model uh, before scaling it, right? And so we only raised capital, you know, year three. Um, so we're excited to bring on, you know, these great investors. In terms of the capital, you know, number one, uh, we're going to continue our uh, expansion of geographic expansion, right? You know, continue to scale across the entire U.S. Uh, as well as internationally. You know, number two is category expansion. We've come a long way into this category of instant needs, and now we offer over 4,000 products, but we're really excited to continue to bring more to our consumers. And number three, you know, we always put the customer first, and we're going to continue to make big investments across the board on improving the customer experience. Uh, Rafael, let me come to you. Let, talk to me about your customer base right now. I know many of it, you know, it started perhaps with, uh, with college uh, kids, but who... Who now is your main customer? Who are you servicing with, as, as we just heard from Yaker, uh, all the different products that you can bring to somebody's home in a short amount of time? You know, David, uh, one, thank you for having us. Uh, uh, it's no secret that GoPub started as a college delivery service, right? We were college students delivering to other college students eight years ago. Uh, but GoPub's transformed a lot since then. We've introduced a lot of new categories. As you curious alluded to, we introduced uh, the pet category and the baby category, over-the-counter medication and household items. And ultimately today, the customer grew significantly. So our average age uh, is just over 30 years old. And we have people from all walks of life ordering GoPub, whether it's a mom that needs uh, her diapers or baby products delivered or a pet owner that needs pet food. We're actually seeing the fastest year-over-year -year growth in these new innovative categories rather than kind of uh, the traditional core GoPub categories that we launched with. Yeah. Yeah, Kira, you know, it wasn't that long ago you guys raised, I think it was $400 million at a $4 billion value. Now you're doing $1.15 at a $9 billion. Um, I wonder, uh, we bring on guys who are doing SPACs all the time, we're raising less money than you are at smaller valuations. You must have been approached by one of these or many SPAC sponsors to consider going public. Uh, have you been? And if so, why How aren't you going that route? Look, when you have a business model like GoPuff that's fully vertically integrated at scale, you know, and superior unit economics, given I said, you know, we monetize our products, not people, you know, we have options, right? Um, but given how strong, you know, our business model is, how strong the growth has been, you know, we believe that raising this private round with these world-class investors is the right thing to do for the company at the moment. Uh, I just have to, I just have to note, I mean, is this intentional that you're both wearing black t-shirts? Is this a company thing? I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. Uh, okay. Um, Raphael, I, I am curious. Okay. Would you, vertically integrated, 20 minutes to the customer, control the customer experience, $1.95 flat delivery fee. Sounds great for the consumer, but how are you actually making money on this? Especially if you do start to expand to something like the suburbs. Uh, Morgan, uh, great question, you know, and I, I'll take us a little bit back to when we launched the business, right? Eight years ago, we had a pretty untraditional start. You know, you and I both first generation Americans. We grew with, uh, with values from our parents that, you know, you need to create a business that makes money. So we didn't have any seed round or anything like that. Uh, we, we started by the business by flipping office furniture. And for the first two and a half years, we were a profitable business. We had free cash flow and we were using that money to expand to additional sites. We then raise more money to really make sure that we can accelerate our growth on, uh, on the new market launch. But what gives us all the confidence in the world is 100% of our markets today are profitable. 
So uh, we have a lot of confidence in investing in hundreds and hundreds of these micro fulfillment centers every single year. And we're just looking forward to kind of press them, uh, come press on this even more. And like Akira alluded to, our entire business model is predicated on making margins on products and really not making margins on, uh, on people or the gig economy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.